I've been aware of Elizabeth's work for many years, and I was very interested in having her do a large-scale uh, oil stick painting for the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Um, I decided probably the best way to do that would be to just take the paper and the oil sticks uh, with me and um, work with her in Pangerton on this project. Elizabeth just celebrated her 90th birthday. So when we arrived, um, her grandson Andrew had to bring her in a wheelchair to the Okurmi Youth Centre. Um, and she was able to climb out of her wheelchair onto the floor where she was totally comfortable. Um, but it was still um, a fairly difficult task being on the floor for five days, um, sliding the length of this, um, of this painting. For me, this was an incredible experience. I've never worked closely with an artist before. As a curator, I usually see the finished piece. But to actually be there when she started and when she fearlessly started putting marks on the paper without a hesitation, um, I just sat and watched this with complete awe. And um, to, to have her explain to me all the, uh, the things that she was making, it was just uh, actually the most exciting project I think I've ever worked on. Elizabeth is very interested in showing uh, the future generations what her life was like. She's very um, anxious that uh, this isn't forgotten that even though life has changed dramatically now, um, all the things that they used, uh, the, the dwellings that they lived in, uh, she really wants people to understand how things used to be. <laughs> Kau 
She has a sense of um, leaving this for, for posterity. She said she, she's anxious that perhaps she will be remembered in the future. Ha 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 ha!